Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. I want to bring to you a case or two actually of two missing, I believe they are both teenagers at this point. I only know the age of the male that is a teenager, but I don't actually know the exact age yet of the, the female. But I do know that she's a teenager, right? I, I do know she's a teenager for sure. I just don't know the exact age. <clears throat> but um, we have a case here of missing person, uh, Isaiah D. Rogers, last seen wearing purple Mount Harrison shirt, black pants, black echo shoes. He has his ears and septum pierced. He's been missing since the 6th of December, last seen at Mount Harrison High School around 3.30 p.m. He is missing from Hayburn, Idaho. Please contact Violet, which is his mother. <clears throat> um, I'll give you the number. It's eight, uh, 280, no, scratch all of that, 208-572-8632. I prefer people not contact family because a lot of bad things can come with that. These family members, unfortunately, have, have people contact them and basically say, like, they try to do ransom you know, um, give us money, we've got your child, and we'll give them to you if you pay us this amount. They do, they do, it's disgusting, really. Um, so, the, and then their Hayburn Police Department is 208-434-2320, or the Rupert Police Department at 208-434-2330. And so, that's a little bit of information. Let me bring you over to his mother's Facebook. And then you're going to see the um, incorporation of how this does involve two different teenagers. So initially she had put up, okay, friends and family, I have been reluctant to post this because I honestly was hoping I wouldn't have to. Isaiah Rogers is missing. He has been missing since the 6th. He was last seen Okay, so it says the same info, right? Um, he is missing from Hayburn, Idaho. He has he had a fight with his girlfriend and was very upset. Also, if there is anyone that could help make a missing persons poster, that would be very helpful. Last seen wearing the Purple Mount Harrison shirt, black pants, black echo shoes. He has his ears and septum pierced. Please share. A police report has been filed. If anyone sees or hears from him, please contact me or police department or the other police department, right? And so I'll show you some of these photos of him here. And so you could see here, if this is a recent photo, he does have braces on. There you could see where he's got a septum pierced. So he might wear jewelry, maybe. I don't know if he had any on. They didn't say that he did. But maybe. <clears throat> Here he has a cross. At least a cross on. But we know for sure the ears and his nose. So, so far we know. Right. So this will probably take us back up to the top. Yeah, it, it did. So let's slide back down here. Um... Okay, so uh, then this poster that we, sh we saw in the beginning got put out and somebody did make it and asked us to please share, help us bring him home safe. He is loved and missed so much and thank the person uh, for making the poster. And that is incredible that somebody made the poster. I'm, I'm really appreciative that somebody did that. And then please share, he could be anywhere by now. Can my Arizona and Utah family please share this as well? And so this is um, a collage of the photos. And then <clears throat> she basically had to put a post, which is disgusting, asking men, people, do not contact her and tell her that she is beautiful. She didn't put herself out here to be told that she's beautiful or be hit on. She put herself out here on social media in order to get the word out about her missing son. All she wants is her son back. So enough. Like, that's so sick. People are messed up. I just, I don't, I don't understand how someone would even do, do something like that. It's, it's pretty un unbelievable to me, but they do it.
And then the next is um, for everyone asking for an update. I'm sorry. I am not responding to everyone. Our family is taking this really hard. And my 11 year old is worried sick as she is very close to her missing brother. The only new information we have is that his girlfriend, Talia, I don't know if that's how you say it, right? But I'm, I'm maybe, uh, went missing yesterday as well. There was some false info that he was found that is not true. He has been missing since the 6th. No one has seen or had direct contact with Isaiah Rogers. If they have, they are not coming forward. We are doing the best we can. We appreciate everyone's love and support. Keep sharing his missing poster, please. It is better if the posts are shared and not just liked, as this makes the information spread and gets the word out to others. If you're in contact with him, please encourage him to call his family and let us know he is okay. As I said before, we are doing the best we can. Thank you. And this was a day ago. And then this starts to incorporate, right, the girlfriend into it. <clears throat> And uh, I'll show you that. So this is her post. Um, okay, friends, I've been reluctant to post, right? So that's her post here in the missing flyer. And then here <clears throat> is Tal Talia's mom. Tala, Tala, Tala. I'm not sure how to pronounce her, her name. I wish I, I knew. I'm sorry. I don't mean to mess it up. Um, and so her mom said, I hate to be making this post and I do not post much on my personal life, but our daughter, Tala, Tala Freiberger left our house yesterday morning. We were thinking that she was off to school as she was with her brother. Later, we got news she ran away with her boyfriend. He has been posted as a runaway since Monday. She is five foot four and very petite frame. She is, I don't know if that's, weight is approximately 105, brown hair, brown eyes, last seen wearing gray sweatshirt and black leggings. She is in her car, the one posted. Please, if you see or hear anything, message me or her dad or the police department in some of the photos, which we're, we're going to get to. I'm going to be able to show you them a little bit better here. So here's the car. And they describe it as a, a silvery mint-ish colored car, right? I mean, you can kind of see the silvery over here and the minty. It's a Ford. <clears throat> I do know they end up putting the plate number out eventually here and then this is this is her daughter right this is a photo of her daughter for you guys i'll make it a little larger she does look like she is is petite from what i could see um this is the her daughter walking out of the home it appears yeah, this must be her walking away. But that's what she's wearing. So it's a Franklin gray hoodie. And it looks like maybe white shoes. So mm, we'll probably end up at the top again. That's okay, though. Uh, let me see if there is anything else on this. Um, it just says... Um, I will never stop looking for this kid. He is my son. He holds a very special piece of my heart, and I miss him so much. Please keep sharing until he is found. We love him so much. Prayers he is safe and comes home soon. And then this is his girlfriend. Please help bring these two teens home. And the photos again. Um, added photos and info on both missing teens. And then also this with the photos, him, so him as well as, and it's um, <clears throat> shared, find our teens missing youth of the Pacific Northwest. And you could see here that he is 16 years old. He was last seen the 6th of December description is biracial, indigenous, and black male. 
dark brown hair, brown eyes, 5'10", approximately 170 pounds, piercings on both ears and septum, scars, he has cuts on arms and hand, medical issues, anxiety and depression, last seen wearing a purple shirt, black pants, black echo shoes, silver cross necklace, and his septum pierce. Okay, so he does have that necklace on him. And he left on foot. May have run away with his, with or met up with his girlfriend who drives a silvery looking old 2002 mint greenish silvery Ford Taurus sedan. The girlfriend is Tala Tala. I don't know. Um, who is quite petite and there's a separate post for her. If you have seen Isaiah or have tips regarding his case, please contact the Hayberg, Idaho Police Department. Officer in charge of who did intake is Officer Emily Martin. And the Hayberg, Hayburn Police case number is 2022120492. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children case number is 1467631. Please be on the lookout as he may be in psychological crisis or he may be in the company of his girlfriend in a runaway situation. Thanks for sharing and please share with the share arrow to keep photos out uh, in info together. <clears throat> Extra contact info, call 911 or 1-800-THE-LOST if you have tips or have seen either of the kids. Thank you. And update, neither took their cell phone or have known cell phones. Second update, the car is a 2006 silver mint green Ford Taurus sedan with Idaho plate 4C47384U. Third update, Isaiah's, Isaiah has family in Arizona, Colorado, Utah, and New Mexico areas, and friends in the Logan, Utah area. He has always said he would go to Utah or to, Nebra or to Nevada if he left home, but there are no known connections he has in Nevada. Update number four. Isaiah now has a National Center for Missing Exploited case number, which I read to you, but I'm going to read it again. 1467631. one. If you have tips or have seen Isaiah, you can also choose to call 1-800-THE-LOST. And so that's the, the updated information for him, right? And so it says that the post had been updated, which we just read it. So it, we would have got, we would have got the update off of it, right? And... 22 hours ago was her last one, you know, 21 hours ago, she changed her pictures over, over for him. So I'll take you over and I'm going to show you, uh, Tala. I don't know how to say her name, guys. I'm so sorry, but this is her mother, her mother's page, right? And so a day ago, she said, I hate to be making this post. and I do not post much on my personal life, but my daughter left our house yesterday morning. Right. So it was that post and then her photos. And then this was the one from Isaiah's mom. She put as an update. She's 16. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I see it now. So this is what was made for her. And it says, help us, our daughter is missing. 16-year-old, 5 feet, 4 inches, very petite frame, weigh is approximately 105 pounds. Please call Kassa, Kassaya County. I'm not sure what that county is. I'm sorry. Law enforcement at 1-208-878-2251. And people were asking for the license plate number. Um, here's something I see over here that's been put together that's got both of their information. Let's open this in a new tab. 
and we can go over and take a look at that actually because that looks um that looks like it's got all the info right there although it doesn't have her this this flyer here but it did have his flyer and it had the car it had photos of her and so this was the one i read about with the updates on it and 10 hours ago okay very hesitant about posting too much info for public to easily find our information especially since i have a vulnerable child missing right now but i feel it's time to get this info out to help find the kids license plate number on the car is 4c 4738u so hopefully 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 somebody sees this car and reports it seven hours ago and they she reposted this one again right with all the updates on it and so let's go take a look real quick over at the the one let me find it here okay it's right here i'll have to enlarge it it looks kind of small <clears throat> okay i see so i don't know how clear it's going to be for you but i'm going to bring you over and just let you take a look real quick i'm going to share all of these uh flyers and maybe even make a community community post on youtube and um make sure that they're in my discord as well and then you'll be able to grab them from wherever is more convenient i may put it on facebook also because sometimes that's easier for people and then you can share it out and let's try to get this put out on all different platforms and share it around for for many to see and that way wherever they are they they're spotted right because she has the car and so i'm thinking if you find her you are likely going to find him thinking maybe after they had that fight that initially meant sent him you know away i think that they well i don't know how they would have talked i really don't know i, I it doesn't actually make sense now that i think about it because he doesn't have a phone either so i'm not i'm not really sure i really don't know but it does say please stop and share this publicly both teens are missing from hayburn idaho this post up here is the one from violet from his mother and then this one over here is i believe her name was kim and this is from her mother and then the pictures of the vehicle and both of the 16 year olds are shared to it so that is what's going on with that case i'm going to be keeping an eye on it i'm hoping that they can get some type of media coverage uh go to local local um news stations and be able to get interviews done so that it can be put out at least you know locally and then from there it can be shared share it share it share it so well i'm hoping i'm hoping they have somebody that's giving them good advice i i could try to reach out and uh talk with them but i i you know I do it, but I don't like, I'm afraid to always get them involved with YouTube because I don't want any parent ever being attacked. So, um, you know, maybe I'll reach out and talk with them and try to advise them of ways that they can uh, get their children out there, their story out there, their picture of the car and the, the both of them. So that's what I may end up doing here. But um, I will keep you guys posted. If I hear anything, please share their posters at least even if you don't share this share the posters and try to get their faces circulated around and let's try to get the both of them home to their families um thank you for listening everyone i will see you in my next video bye everybody